Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Quinnipiac Bobcats and the Florida Gators. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I'll tell you what, when you're the underdog, you've got to come out and play with such fire. You've got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Gators should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Secondly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Well, that stat at the end could be a big one. Finally, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Looking for contact. Makes the shot. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. Number 34 makes the shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He uses the shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He launches a three off the rim and no good. Garland receives the ball. Trying to feed inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dumps it in. The skip pass is picked off. Goes up for two. Knocks it down. have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Stolen away. And the ball goes out of play. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket, they just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help stop. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to go inside. For two. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. 
Everybody's happy, including the school mascot. Well, the mascot's doing a little dance, baby, celebrating a lot of jubilation. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Goes up for two. Take a look right here. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Defensible. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. They look to get it to the inside. Tries for two. Florida are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they're trying to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Gave it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Santos handles the pass for the bucket. The Bobcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up from three-point range. Drains the shot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. For two. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Kicks it out. Thinks about the shot. They work it around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. on the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. On the outside, the crowd really admires this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Gators are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes the first. that opportunity either. Look out. The defender is smacked by that screen. And now they'll bring it up. Good job defensively. They run it up into transition. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Brad. They'll throw this one in from the side. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. They're going to move it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Up 
Down inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Puts up the tray. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Up and inside. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Check him out, Brad. Pass it stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Crawford is emotionally fired up. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. On the outside, he tries a three ball. Way off target. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Let's it fly. Goes. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. The Gators are becoming regulars at the national tournament. Success, Brad. It's what every coach in America wants. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. It's electrifying in here. On the dribble, gives it up. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. He missed on the steal, and that's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Now they work it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Gets it to go. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. It's good. Controlling the ball. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Pump fake. Point land. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Stolen away. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. That's an 8 nothing run. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, it's early out there, but both coaches are demanding both teams turn up their emotions and get physical out there on the hardwood. All right, thanks, Aaron.
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. That shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. May handles the feed. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. Handles the defense, and they do a nice job. You betcha. Up fake. Trying to draw the foul. He gets it to fall. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team now. Bad angle. He shoots from the baseline. He buries the shot. Terry look from three-point land on the dribble gives it up he strips it clean I'll tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on a box step out on that screener and he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face I'll tell you what he's disgusted but so is his coach This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. First shot is good. Makes both of them. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking for a good shot. Santos receives the pass. He's money with the shot. Intercepted. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. That's a seven zip run. Here's a double team. into the defender drops the bucket despite the harm I think that's why college basketball has the following it does Dick people from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games they just have to focus Brad that's most important mental toughness Quinnipack are on a nice little run at the moment hey you shouldn't see if they can't force a timeout high post screen so effective that's Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Nick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. I think she's right about that, Richard. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brown. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Jumps in. Goes in. The 
Look at that spacing. Jumped in front to take it away. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, a great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He goes for three, drains it. Puckett picks up the foul, second team foul. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I did the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. There's a double team waiting there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. The Gators have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Fakes a jumper. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They work the perimeter. There's the fake. With the fadeaway. Sweet fadeaway, Jay. On the outside. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. There's the pick, there's the roll. From right in the circle. The Gators are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Opportunity for two for one. Looking for a good shot. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shot on the interior. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. He drains it. Shot clock is dead. And a moment from three-point land. There they come with a double team to stop it. With the bomb. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Gators are ahead by two. Nick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Florida found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> All right, Dick, start of the second half. David versus Goliath. What do you expect? I think always special when you see the David and the Goliath. And you know there are a lot of people out there always want to root for David. I think it's important when you're David right now to calm out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half.
I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. He hits the second shot. to pick up the defense here now. Takes away the pass. I think right now I've got to focus defensively. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. circle Santos gets the three that was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle wow no call you like that NASCAR hey where's Mr. Petty Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He gets the bucket. How about this? There's the trap. Launches the three. That's good. Picks off the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. For the bucket, perfectly executed. goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. For two, doesn't go. Post player kicks it out. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Picks off the lazy pass. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you what, you I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. right there trying to play that passing lane anticipated really well gave it up great elevator man man that's the elevator guy what a high riser they'll work it around the arc he's got some room let's see if they can get a good shot this trip Gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Try 
tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. They're working around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He takes it away. Defense has really stepped up. They're taking over the tempo very nicely. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. And the ball goes out of play. the dribble gives it up picked out of the air tries to get the D to bite ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man work the perimeter spacing so important with a great block Side. Got an open look if he wants it. There's the screen up on top. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nails the tray. Steals a pass. A twine. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. They're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you The ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Picked off. Looking for a good shot. Look at that spacing. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The witty rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second early. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call, Dick. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. In the paint. For the bucket. I have to create the angle using the glass.
He shoots from outside. Gets it to fall. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnover. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can. And his shot rejected. They're working around the perimeter. From right in the circle. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Spacing. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He gets out of the double. Hey, poor execution of the double team, Brad. These boys were taught better. It around the arc and he'll kick it back outside ball was loose but the offense got it back Florida are on a nice little run at the moment partner they have to remember solid defense leads to good offense which is what we're seeing right now for two perfectly executed Working around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Gave it up. Intercepted. Moving it around the perimeter. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad, down here on the sidelines and close to the favorites bench. Word coming from their huddles are, we've been in this situation before. Let's tighten up the defense and pull out a win. Thanks, Erin. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Definitely a foul. Spacing. 
Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Great defense. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Pushing that basketball. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land as we take a look at our backcourt production. Brown, I'll tell you one thing, productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. game dick for that reason alone listen to that roar it's unbelievable the students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win they're rocking right now my goodness rims out Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Steals the ball. Fast break possibility coming. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Put a Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Give it to him down low, going the other way from the top of the key. He doesn't get the hook. Intercepted. He gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. He steps up to the line. Missed it. Grabs it. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Now the turnaround jumper. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing him, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you get that pass away. On the inside, here's a double team. He intercepts it. Up and inside. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really There's a double team waiting there. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. And the fans here are loving the action. I agree with you more. But we are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. On the outside, he's got an open look for the shot. He shoots from the top of the key.
tries a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. From the baseline, he hits the shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They're working around the perimeter. He looks free. No good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from right of the circle. Makes the block. And the ball goes out of play. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. He shoots from long range. Drains it. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the to say, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Ten on the shot clock. Count that as a personal foul. Mr. Vitale, how about that state fire game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. He's open if he wants the shot. It's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. Right, Brad. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. He goes to the line. Misses the front end of the one and one. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. There might be a change in the game plan right now. Could be, got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. The lead is nine. Nine is five. Brad. They have to keep their composure and take good shots. From right. He hit. Foul, and that stops the clock again. He likes this part of the game, and the losing team is fouling. They don't want to stop the clock. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Second one is no good. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets the bucket. Shot clock is dead. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. 
It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. second the lead is up to eight they could be starting to pull away here dick he goes for three off the rim and no good basket falls despite the contact and they continue to foul to stop the clock Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. Makes the foul shot. He gets them both. Timeout's call. And it goes, let's just talk about how they're going to overcome this big deficit. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Rims out. I think it seems like they really don't care what the final score is. They just want to put up that W. That's all that matters. I'll tell you one thing. They're so well coached. They're really prepared, and they understand each other. They know who their strong players are, should be shooting the ball, and those that are liability. Florida played well against a good team tonight for the win. They came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.